All right, welcome back, everyone. Um, I'm happy to be here again today for you. Uh, so today we're gonna be uh, looking at the WinP stuff again, and we're gonna show you how to add applications to your WinPE uh, .win file, and we're also going. I'm also going to show you how to add a selection menu, uh, so you can just click a button and launch the applications uh, from your WinPE. Um, that way, it's a little bit easier. You don't have to run commands. Um, a afterwards so let's get started so the first thing we got to do is we got to get a couple of things ready we have to get our applications ready which I ended up installing my Acronis here so it's within a folder called Acronis true image and then my Acronis is here um, the next thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and um, e e again this is the same thing with partition wizard I ended up installing it within a folder named partition um, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually put these within our Windows PE. So we have to mount our boot whim again. So we're going to use we're going to use the uh, GL image EX application here because this is a little bit easier than uh, typing out a whole bunch of stuff. We're going to go to mount, browse, desktop. Uh, our folder is vid test A. We're going to mount it to the mount folder. We're going to browse our boot whim. So that's going to be our boot whim file there. And we're going to make sure we select read and write. So we're going to mount that. All right, we're going to wait for that to mount. And then we're going to do a couple of things within those uh, files there. All right, now that this is mounted, we're going to close off the first window. We're going to keep this open because we're still working with our boot.wim. Um, now we should be able to access the, uh, the boot.wim file. So we're going to go into the mount folder, which are, which, is, which are here. And we're going to go into the uh, program files. So that's going to be here. I'm going to open up another window explorer just so we can go back into our test folder. And I'm going to copy my Acronis folder, my Acronis files or folder, to the program files and paste them there. It's going to be administrative um, um, requirements, so just click on continue. And then I'm going to go do the same thing with the partition wizard. Just like so, partition, we're going to copy that and we're going to paste that there and continue. All right, next we have to do, uh, prepare something. We have to go back um, to mount folder. We're going to go to Windows. We're going to go to System32 and we're going to look for the startnet.cmd file. Startnet.cmd should be in the SS. We can also just type here start, I believe. Um, let me see, net, start net. And it's not, it does not want to cooperate with me, so we're going to do it the hard way. So we're going to go through the system32 files and look for startnet.cmd. And luckily, I think I got this in APC order, so it shouldn't take too long. There it is. Okay, start net that start net folder here. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we have to give it a, um, give it the ability to be edited. So we're gonna right click on this file. We're gonna go to properties. We're gonna go to security, and then where it says all applications, all restrictions, system administrative, and all users. Make sure you click on all of these one by one and go to edit, and then make sure they are, are allowed to have full control and allow to modify, allow to read and write. All of these need to be checked off, except for the bottom one. That doesn't matter. And then after that, I click apply. And that, that goes for every single one, every single one, well, not every single one, but like the users, administrators, and all applications. And this is these are the three that I that I selected. All right, click OK, click OK. Now we can edit this file. So we go to right click, we're gonna edit. And within here, we're gonna skip a couple of lines and we're gonna type start space, uh, and let's do cake dot bat and you'll know why it's cake dot bat in a second here we'll save this all right we'll exit out of here all right we're gonna go back all the way to the vid test folder um, or whatever you're using as a folder and now we're going to create this this is the example here this batch file this batch file is gonna look just like this okay very simple but it'll let you select uh, each one of these and um, and use it to a launch application. So to do this, we have to right click, go to new, uh, open a text document. 
We're going to name this cake for now. Don't do that bad yet. We're going to go within it and we are going to type a couple of things and I'm going to copy and paste from my notes because it's going to take a long time if I don't. Um, going to go. The first four is going to be this paste. It's going to be at echo off CLS uh, dot dot start at echo dot. And then after that, we're going to do our menu. And for our menu, it's going to be echo. And I'll show you here. I'll put all of this in the description so you guys don't have to uh, 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 type it up. It's going to be echo space one dot Acronis. This being the name of the application you're installing in case it's not Acronis or Partition Wizard, you just name it whatever you want. And then echo space two dot Partition Wizards. And we're also going to do a shutdown command and a restart command. So echo space three dot shutdown echo space four dot want to restart my computer. Okay, and then echo, echo dot, echo dot, space, space. We're going to skip one space here, and then we're going to type in this. We'll paste it there. Set space slash P um, space X equal pick dot dot. Okay, all right. I keep saying dot dot. That's not dot dot. You guys know that. So now the next command we're going to do is going to be this one. And what this does, it pretty much tells you if if x equals x go to item underscore x it's it's simple simple stuff right uh squint squint no wait blank wait whatever <laughs> all right so the further for the first one we're going to do item one and then then under that we're going to do the directory uh the directory where where our first application is our first application is going to be a chronic so to look at to look where that is is we're gonna go into the mount folder, we're gonna go to uh, program files, and we're gonna go to Acronis, and we're gonna go to the next folder, True Image, and you should look for a .exe file. So that would be uh, this one, I believe. Let me see properties. Yes, .exe folder. That's the uh, application that launches your program, and it's gonna be obviously different if you're using a different application. So we're gonna use this directory which would be program files acronis true image and then true uh, image.exe um, but for this to work we have to do um, this command here and I'll show you copy and paste so it starts space slash minimize this is what minimizes for um, then you're going to do in semicolons here, I think they're semicolons, uh, X being your uh, your um, your source file or source drive, um, dot dot slash program files, slash Acronis, slash true image, and then the little, little squiggly, I think they're semicolons. By the way, please correct me if I'm wrong, because I am terrible with these little dots and do ba dip uh And then, of course, space, and then the the true image underscore started that exe so that's going to be the uh the starter for that and then after that we're going to go we're going to uh type go to start so after this after pressing one enter it launches this application go to start is going to relaunch this here so then you don't so it doesn't have to keep launching the same application over and over again so now we're going to skip two spaces and we are going to do the same thing with item two and with item two it'll be the same thing um, item underscore two start same command and then the directory to where partition wizard study uh, uh, launcher is and then go to start for the last two options items three and four which is shut down and restart we're going to uh, double space I mean double enter it again and we're going to do item three underscore three but for this one because we don't want to go to start we're not going to add go to start at the end but this is an actual like WinP command. So it'll be WPE UTIL, WPE utility, pretty much, space shut down. All right. And then you kind of get the idea here. The next one is going to be the same thing, but reboot. So let's go, let's double space. And then we go item four and then WPE util reboot. All right. So we're going to, we're going to, we're going to, once this is created, we're going to save this. So copy, I uh, mean file. We're going to save as, and then within the same area, we're going to name this cake and now add the dot bat. 
that's gonna then you're gonna save it and what that does it saves it as a batch file which is what WinP is gonna read so if we try to launch this from here it'll launch our um, our successful uh, launch window for WinP awesome so we're gonna go ahead and copy that copy and then we're gonna go back into our mount folder where we're editing our Windows PE or win file and we're gonna go to Windows Windows system 32 and we're going to paste it within here paste and it's administrative uh, stuff again so I'll just click continue when it when it gives you that awesome so we are done with that we're done with that so now what we're gonna do and, and oh and, and you're, you're ready by the way we're done with that what we're gonna do is we're gonna unmount it so make sure you go back to this application here that you had open go to commit changes select your uh, the the WinP file that you're uh, currently working on which should be the only one here and then click on mount all right amount successful awesome so now we have our dot wimp folder uh, let's see this is this is unmounted so now we have our boot wimp folder our boot wimp file which we can actually access access it if we have like seven zip so just to, just to look inside just to verify we have within our program files we have the acronis and we have our partition wizard and just to verify within windows system 32 we have what we ended up putting in there as folders so we'll look for um, the cake file which should be under C C C C C up there cake dot bat and of course the startnet.cmd that was already in here that we added it. All right, sweet. So let's go ahead and test our let's go ahead and test our boot WIM uh, and see how, how it turned out. Okay, now that you've edited your WIM your WIM file, you can just copy that and paste it into your WIM PE. Just replace the WIM file that's already on your Windows PE key. Um, and then after that, I just you should be okay. It's I have mine on a thumb drive here and we're gonna go ahead and boot into it. So I'm going to shut down my computer and plug this in just so you guys can see how it works. Start the computer back up and go to the boot menu. All right, now we're just going to launch it. Boom. And we wait. All right, so this is the start.net. It just launched our cake.bat file and our menu got launched. So let's see if our menu actually works and we got the directories correct. So we'll press one, we'll press enter, and it'll re relaunch back the start menu and then it, it launches the, our Acronis true image. So let's try number two, which is two, enter, and it should find that .exe for the partition wizard. And there you go. And now we'll test our uh, shutdown command three and then we're not gonna do four, but we'll, we'll test three for shutdown. Or actually, we have to restart the computer, right? So we'll do number four, boom, boom. All right, everybody, if this was helpful and it gave you some information that you needed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that like button and please share it because other people need to know these things too. They might they might need to create a recovery per, uh, tool to help them in their jobs and all that stuff. So uh, make sure you uh, help me out with that, please. Thank you, I appreciate it. Um, but until the next one, I hope again that this was helpful. Uh, I will see you, so peace out.